Well, hello, and I want to uh, stretch your mind with some mathematics, first of all, today. I'm going to read a, a Psalm 84, verse 2 and verse 10. This is the psalmist. My soul longs, yes, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. Well, the psalmist estimated that one day in God's presence was better than a thousand. And, uh, well, the average person lives 70 years or 25,550 days. So we only have 25,000 days for a whole lifetime. And the psalmist, according to that calculation, reckoned that to live just 25 days sensing God's nearness was better than to live out a whole life without that awareness. And we could also add that he said that a thousand elsewhere. Now, just imagine a thousand, that's three years. One day in the presence of God is better than three years in Hawaii, California. Switzerland, wherever you think of as being the best place to go and spend time on the beach. <laughs> a day in your presence is better than a thousand days, three years elsewhere. And uh, a whole lifetime is not to be compared with knowing the wonderful presence of God. The distinctive mark of all who pursue God in a deep way is that when they discover God, they seek him till his presence becomes the dominant note in their life. God manifests himself to all people in some degree. Unless God draws near to, God draws near to us, we would never find him. No more than you could find a needle in a haystack. But God does want to be found and he does manifest himself. He tugs at our hearts and we are awakened to another world. That we could scarcely have hoped existed but it does it's the real world no one has ever seen god but god demonstrated his desire to be known by sending his son and then sending the holy spirit god can be found once we have known even just a whisper of the matchless majesty that is god we are to cultivate our spiritual faculties till knowing him becomes the reason we live. Augustine said that our hearts are restless till they find rest in God. Once we have tasted of the knowledge of God in the face of Jesus Christ, we will be hollow shells if we don't go on to develop the habit of drinking long and deep at this well of eternal life. God has brushed your heart, my heart, with his presence. Now the question is, what will we do about it? The psalmist was not suppressing his thirst for God, but surrendering to it. He was allowing it to shape his priorities, his way of life. We often bemoan our lack of time. The truth is, we simply haven't made time. Rise up in heart. Pursue God, because to know him is the only reason worth living for.